Good evening. Hello, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello, welcome. Mr. Aron. Okay, good evening to everyone. Welcome to another English class. Okay, to start, all right, team, think in, think in three things. Three things that you did yesterday. Think in three things that you did yesterday. Tres cosas que usted realizó el día de ayer. Think in three things you did yesterday. In English, obviously. Vamos a recortar de recordar los verbos en el cursado simple. For example, in my case, yesterday, uh, I went to my, I woke up at 5 a.m. After that, I went to my job at 7 p.m. 
and at nine I had English class Hi. with you. Okay, how about Mr. Alexander? What did you do yesterday? Three things that you did yesterday. Class. You had class. What else? Did you eat something special? Did you eat something special? What do you do in the afternoon? No, in the afternoon. Yeah, yesterday in the afternoon. Okay, okay. How about Miss Jenny? Tell me three things that you did yesterday, Miss Jenny. Um, and yesterday talk about the past, the B. Uh, use did and didn't. Um, one more is, I don't remember more, um, I don't know, I don't remember more. Okay, no worries, thank you very much. Okay, Miss Areli, tell me three things that you did yesterday. Okay, I I have my classes and I prepare classes too. Um I take I, I don't know. I take I take care for my kids in the afternoon and and then I have English classes with you and this is all <laughs> this is all my day. <laughs> all right, so you prepare classes. You took, yeah. uh, you took after your kids and you have English class with us. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Let's start. Okay, vamos a tomar la asistencia de este día. Hoy tenemos la clase número 11. Okay, and... Let me see. Today's Wednesday, 17. Okay, let's start. Mr. Alexander Aron. Yes, uh, Ms. Arely and Carmen. Present. Yes. Present. Present. Yes. Mm -hmm. Carolina Eleonor Cardona de Alvarado. Yes. Edgar Jose Cruz. Yes. Elvin Alexander Alvarado Díaz. Yes, Elka Beatriz Urbina. Erika Beatriz Urbina Guardado. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Heidi Marisol Mentíbar Mentíbar. Jenny Marisol. Present. José Nicolás. José Teacher, Nicolás. I'm here. Juan Alberto Rivas. Present, teacher. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Present, teacher. Juan Ricardo Menedemo Delgado Vázquez. Present, teacher. Laura Noemí Rivas Rivas. Maritza Reyes López. Maritza Reyes López. Ronald Alexis Gómez. Sonia Miriam Cortés Vargas. 
Mr. Wilmer Fabricio. Got it. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Miss Carolina. Present. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, well, let's start. All right, let's remember a little bit about uh, what's and where. What's and where. Okay, for example, uh, we have we have the explanation yesterday between when we have to use was and when we have to use where. For example, uh, number one it says, I was excited. I wasn't excited. Vamos a pedirle a Mr. Elvin que nos ayude a leer las oraciones con he and she. He was at school. She wasn't at school. Excellent. Miss Brenda, can you help us with it? It was a beautiful night. It wasn't a beautiful night. Excellent. Uh, let me see. Miss Jenny, can you help us with the sentences using you? You were brilliant and you weren't brilliant. Excellent. Uh, Miss Sonia, can you help us to read the sentences using we? We were late. We weren't late. Excellent. Mr. Alexander, the sentences using they. They were by issues. By issues. Super. They were so cute. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Well, now we're going to remember how to use was or where. Okay. Eh, was or where is el pasado de el verbo to be. Que significa ser, yo soy, o yo era, o ellos eran, o estar. Ellos estaban, nosotros, eh, nosotros estábamos, eh, ellos estaban, ok, eso representa was or where, el pasado, ok, también como pueden darse cuenta, eh, en el pasado van a haber palabras como yesterday, que significa ayer, eh, last week, que significa eh, la última semana, eh, eh, dos días atrás, el año pasado, porque son expresiones que, Eh, nos ayuda a identificar el pasado sin. Ok, vamos a eh, tratar de resolver el ejercicio del 1 al 10. Ok, vamos a darle alrededor de dos minutos y después lo vamos a resolver juntos. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's see. Number one will be for uh, Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas. I was thirsty after the game. 
Ok, I was thirsty after the game. Okay, estaba sediento después del juego. I was thirsty. Excellent. Mr. Benedemo, number two. She win. She win. She was scared. She was. We was. Because of that horror movie. Excellent. Miss Carolina, we number was. three. Miss Carolina, number three. They were. It, it is in where, where, where? Weren't. Weren't. Porque está en negativa. Weren't. Weren't. Okay. Uh, let me see. Miss Brenda, number four, please. Was he happy yesterday? Was he, was he happy yesterday? Excellent. Was he happy yesterday? Mr. Alexander, number five, in negative form. It was raining last week. Excellent. It, was, it, it wasn't. It wasn't raining last week. Excellent. Okay. And six. Let me see. Number six. How about Miss Marisol Mengibar? Um, we were late for the movie. We were late for the movie. Excellent. Me, Sonia, number seven, please. Were they excited for the party? Were they excited for the party? Good. Number eight, Miss Jenny. He was noisy at the library on Monday. He was noisy at the library on Monday. Perfect. Negative form. Uh, let me see. How about Mr. Mr. Elvin? Number nine. Negative form. I wasn't at school yesterday. I was Sunday. It was Sunday. Perfect. And finally, Miss Arely. Were That's we it. quiet at the library? Excellent. Were we quiet at the library? Excellent. Okay, good job. Okay, well, today I brought this conversation. I brought four conversations. Conversation one, conversation two, conversation three, and conversation four. Okay, it says number one, conversation dice, how was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? Yeah, it was really scary. Nice. Was it crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there, surprisingly. Okay, tenemos la conversación dos. Where were you last night? I was at work. Really? I was at, at your shop. You weren't there. No, I was in the back working. You were? Really? I was there. Then we have the conversation three. How was the test? It was really hard. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah, what was your score? Let's just say it wasn't great, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad either. And the conversation four, it says, do you know who was at the, at the party? Jason was there, so, so was Zoo. Were Tom and Katie there? No, they weren't. They weren't there. But their their son was. Oh, I see. So was it fun? Yeah, it was fun evening. Okay. Lo que vamos a hacer este día, vamos a eh, practicar estas conversaciones. También eh, voy a compartir con ustedes un link donde pueden escuchar la conversación. Solo permítanme un minutito. Here we have. In the next link, you can find the conversations and also find the audio. Okay, the link and you can find the link. And what we're going to do is we're going to practice the conversations. You can choose one conversation of the four and we're going to practice it with our companions. No, eh, vamos a realizar la actividad en parejas 
Así que escoja una conversación, ya las voy a enviar al grupo. Y eh, si, si gusta puede escuchar el audio también para familiarizarse con la pronunciación. Entonces, Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. La number one. Okay, says. How was the movie? Ya vio la número uno. Sí, 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 la estoy escuchando. Ok. La escuchamos primero y luego, y luego la practicamos. ¿no? Ok. Please, so please. Yes, it was really scary. That is scary. How was the movie? Was it scary? Was it scary? Was Solo vamos a leer una. No, todas vamos a leerlas. Ok, número uno. How was the movie? Ok, how was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. What is this crowd? No, 
it was wasn't sí así se dice wasn't sí wasn't <clears throat> how was the test it was really hard how long was it there were about 20 problems yeah what's what you score score let's just say it wasn't great but it wasn't bad either Oh, okay. was the movie? It was really good. Was scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. What is crowded? Okay. No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there. Surprisingly. Oh, was the best? ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Surprising. Surprisingly, or oh, surprisingly. In the conversation, one. Surprisingly. 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 No le damos acento a la jeva. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Surprise. Surprisingly. Pero no lleva sur, no que solo tú dices tú, o le falta la R. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y tenemos que escoger dos, teacher, o solamente una conversación. Puedes escoger solamente una. Okay. Bueno, habíamos escogido dos nosotros. Ah, pues. Nos quedamos con cuál. Number three. The three. Three. Yeah. Okay. How was the test? It was really hard. How long was it? Was There were about 20 problems. Yeah. What was your score? Let's just say it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Yeah. Either. 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 En español, teacher. Yeah. Tampoco. Tampoco. Oh, either. How was the test? It was really hard. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah, what was your score? Let's just say it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Cambiamos ahora. Mm -hmm. How was the test? It was really hard. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah. What was your score? Let's just say it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Yeah. How was the test? It was really hard. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah, what was your score? Let's just say. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Oh, one day. Who was the test? Who was the test? It was really hard. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah, what was your score? Let's just say it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Esa es bien larga. Sí, esa es la más larga, ¿eh? Let's just say. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Hey, well, la, la número uno, la última, la más grande, la más larga. Uh, no, it wasn't. There were, it's there were no people. people. Surprising. Surprisingly. 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 <clears throat> mm. 
Bueno, si tenemos tiempo, hagamos la 1, porque está okay. complicada de hacer. Ok, thank you. Uh, how was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Why is it scrunged? Scrunged. Fun evening. Okay, I, we are just checking the the pronunciation. It's teacher. okay. It's okay. But we we finished. We already finished. Got it. Okay. Okay. Sí. Ahí sí. Si. So was it fun? So was it fun? So was it fun? So was it fun? Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. It was a fun everything. Yeah. Muy bien. Vaya. Ahora va a practicar Juan Alberto con usted. Va. Dale, Juan. Vaya. Albert, <laughs> Juan, se durmió. <laughs> es que anda buscando quizás la conversación, Juan, ya le va a contestar. Mm -hmm. Hola, ¿me escucha? Yes. Yes. Okay, gracias. Yes, vale, Siri. Este, <laughs> vamos con la conversación, conversación número uno. Este, eh, ¿Usted? How, ok, how was the movie? It's quite really good. Um, was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice, was it a cro crowd? No, it was there were a many people. There is Supreme. Okay, conversation number two. Where were you last night? It was at work. Really? I was at your shop. You weren't there? No, it was. It is that about working. You were? Really, I was there. Eh? Okay, conversation so, three. How was the test? It was really early. How long was it? There were about 20 women. Yeah, was, yeah, what was your score? They who say it is one a great a bad a was it tie bad okay. A okay do you know who was a Okay, well, now we're going to practice. You have to read the conversation in front of your classmates. Uh, let's start with, let me see, Mr. Elvin and Ms. Sonia, con la conversación que ya escogía. Conversation number one. How was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Was it scary? No, it wasn't. They weren't many people there, surprisingly. Finish. Excellent, very good. Uh, Miss Jenny and Miss Marisol. Conversation number two. Excellent. Where were you last night? I was at work. Really? I was at your shop. You you weren't there. No, I was in the back working. 
you were? Really, I was there. Finish. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, Mr. Alexander and Mr. Francisco. Uh, we choose the number three. Who was the test? It was really hard. Hold on, what's it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah. What was your score? Let's just say it wasn't great, but I wasn't bad. Either. Please. Okay, Miss Arely. And Miss Brenda. <laughs> can uh, if if you we can do the number four if you want, Miss Brenda. Okay. And uh, do you know who was at the party? Jason was there, so it was two. Were Tom and Katie there? No. They weren't there, but their son was. Oh, I see. So, what was it fun? Yes, it was a fun evening. Okay. Excellent. Good pronunciation. Uh, Mr. Ronald and, well, I don't know if Mr. Ronald and Juan Ricardo are ready. Okay, well, uh, Miss Carolina, and Mr. Menedemo, yes, and yes. then Mr. Juan Alberto with Ms. Carolina. Yes, Juan. Ay, Rivas. Hello. Hello. Conversation okay. number one. Conversation number one, okay. Yes. How was the movie? It was really good. It, what is it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. What is the crowd? No, it wasn't. There were many people there super singing. Only that is excellent. Okay. okay. I don't know if we have any volunteer. Mr. Ronald? Well, we're going to uh, remember a little bit about a uh, simple past, simple past. Let me know if you can see the presentation, please. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Simple past. Vamos a recordar un poco el uso de los verbos regular, regulares o irregulares. Eh, por ejemplo, ¿cuáles son los verbos regulares? O sea, recuerden. ¿O cuál es la regla principal de los, regla, de los verbos regulares? ¿Cuáles son los verbos irregulares? Porque su conjugación cambia en el pasado. Excelente, cuando, así como dice Mr. Alexander, son aquellos verbos que cambian eh, al transformarlos o escribirlos en su forma del pasado. Ok, so let's start first with the regular verbs. Ok, tenemos el ejemplo. Yesterday I worked in the evening. Ok, ¿cómo formamos los verbos eh, regulares? Bueno, los verbos regulares se forman de, eh, agregando el suffix o el sufijo ed o de al final de cada verbo. Por ejemplo, work, para convertirlo en pasado y decir trabajé, vamos a agregarle ed y decimos worked. Worked. Ok. Eh, tenemos una, vamos a recordar un poco sobre las reglas de escritura de los verbos eh, regulares. Por ejemplo, eh, como en la mayoría de casos, vamos a agregar ed 
a los verbos al final, el sufijo. Por ejemplo, want, el pasado es wanted. Wanted. Ok, like, como ya tiene e, únicamente vamos a agregar de. Entonces vamos a decir liked. Liked. Para decir su forma pasada. En el caso de play, tenemos played. Played. Ok. Eh, en los verbos que ya tienen e, únicamente vamos a agregar la de para convertirlos al pasado. Por ejemplo, arrive, el pas la, pas la forma pasada es arrived, arrived. Hate, 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 or hated. Ok, also we have love, amar, love. Para convertirlo en su forma pasada es loved, loved. Ok, ¿qué pasa si eh, el verbo termi termina en Y? Si el verbo termina en Y, pero antes de, del verbo en, del, eh, antes de la Y hay una consonante, vamos a eliminar la Y y vamos a colocar la IED. Y latina más ED. Por ejemplo, tenemos try. Antes de la, cuando antes de la última letra, que es Y, tenemos una R. Entonces, esa es una consonante. Por lo tanto, vamos a eliminar la Y y vamos a agregar una I latina más ED. Vamos a decir tried. Try, tried. Ok. Eh, si es un CBC, si el verbo termina en una consonante vocal consonante, vamos a duplicar la última eh, letra. Por ejemplo, plan, planned. Plan, plan. Por ejemplo, stop termina en consonante, vocal consonante. Por ejemplo, la T es consonante, la O es vocal, la P es consonante. Por lo tanto, vamos a duplicar la última P. Vamos a decir stopped. Stopped. Uh, ¿Por qué siempre se le duplica WP? Porque cumple con la regla que dice que si el verbo, el verbo termina en consonante, vocal, consonante, vamos a duplicar la última. Vocal, consonante, vocal, consonante. Conso, consonante, vocal, consonante. CBC. Ah, ok, 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 ya, ya los identifico. Gracias, maestro. Un gusto. Los usos. Cuando utilizamos el pasado, son verbos que son acciones que iniciaron en el pasado y finalizaron en el pasado. Action that started and finished in the past. For example, I didn't go to the beach last Sunday. Action that happened one after the one in the past. Una acción que, que sucede una tras otra, pero en el pasado, como una historia. For example, I went into the disco and I saw my favorite girl, then I ask her to dance. Como pueden ver, eh, esta es una acción, son diferentes acciones que ocurrieron en el pasado. I went into the disco, I saw my favorite girl, then I asked her to dance. Ok, alguna de las pronunciaciones, like, liked, watch, Watch, stopped, stopped, play, played, loved, okay, wanted, wanted, decided, wanted, decided. Okay, vamos a, vamos a practicar un poco. Okay, ahí es, puede, sin, sin activar el micrófono puede... Repetir después de mí. Liked. Liked. Ok. Un leve sonido de una T al final. Liked. Eh, watched. Con una, un final, una T al final. Observar. Watched. Por ejemplo, va a decir. Eh, yesterday I watched a movie. I watched a movie. Entonces tenemos stopped. Stopped. Con una leve T al final. Stopped. Hemos played. Una, con una D al final. Played. Loved. 
answered. Wanted. Wanted. A wanted. Okay. Decided. 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 Excellent. Ok, pero ¿cuáles son los verbos irregulares? Los verbos irregulares son aquellos que van a cambiar todos. Eh, bueno, la estructura a la hora de escribirla va, va a cambiar la mayoría al convertirlos al pasado. Por ejemplo, ¿cuáles son algunos verbos irregulares que ustedes recuerdan? Yo les voy a ayudar con uno. Go, y su forma pasada es went. Go, went. How about... Uh, Miss Jenny, do you remember any verb in simple past tense? Algún verbo que usted recuerda que sea irregular en presente y pasado? Me, teacher. Yes, Miss. Um, right. Right. In the simple past? Wrote. Wrote. Perfecto. Ok. Eh, ¿Alguien más recuerda otro verbo que sea irregular? Think. Sorry. Think. Think. Ok. The, the past form it is? Watch. Song. Watch. Thought. Ok. Roy, watch. Ok. We have think, thought. Ok, otro verbo que usted recuerde que sea irregular. Watch. 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 Watch es regular. Estamos conociendo los irregulares. Irregulares. Watch. Live. Live es regular porque agregamos ed. Teacher. Todos los que le agregamos e o D son Wall. regulares. Take. Wall. Pero el estado de live no es left. Ah, sí, sí. Live de irse. Sí, live es left. Pensé que me decía live de vivir. Perdón. Es live de irse. Sí, es cierto. De dejar. Live. El pasado es left. Teacher. Eh, take. Es tipo. Pipo es otro artículo. Regular. Es persona, no es verbo. Ah, sí. Teacher. Dígame, Miss Carolina. Break. Break, exacto. Break, el pasado es. Broke. 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 Excellent. Check. Begin, teacher. Begin, también. El pasado de begin es. Begun. Feel. El pasado es. Fair. Fail. Muy bien. Entonces, vamos a practicar un poquito eh, los verbos. Ok, traje este game para poder practicar un poco los verbos irregulares. Este juego les va a ayudar a practicar y a recordar los verbos en su forma pasada. When you finish, please let me know. Thank you. 
Come on, class. Si yo no puedo ir al ojo, no sé por qué. Hello. Eh, decía que no podía activar el micrófono porque me decía que tenía que activarlo el anfitrión. No podía. No, me... no, no le logro escuchar muy bien, se le escucha cortado. No, que le, le decía que no podía eh, activar el micrófono, por eso es que no puede participar en la conversación, pero sí estuve presente. Ok, entiendo. Ah, me decía. Mire, pero y ahí ¿Y en, el, en el link que mandó teníamos que poner alguna contraseña. No, no, no. Es que eso me pide a mí una contraseña. Solo dele next. Next. Buenas noches. Igual a mí. No, 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 no puedo entrar. Ahorita le vamos a ayudar, mister. Abajo está. Richard, abajo está una. Está un monito, no sé si ahí le estoy dando. No, de maní no. No, acá. El de usted está. Sí, ahí, exacto. Aquí le da, aquí le da play. Aquí le da next. Next. Y again, next. For example, yesterday, Tony. A mí no me aparece nada. Pat. Pat. Excelente. Okay, after Read the sentence. After eating breakfast, he got into his car in drove. Read the sentence and choose the correct missing word. Buenas noches. A mí me parece que tengo que poner contraseña. Yo mismo a mí, teacher. A ustedes le di like y lo abrí, no, no me lo... Pégame el teléfono. Toco una cosa y me sale otra. <risa> ¿Le aparece esta, misérica? No, me aparece... El, el, el monito, el león que está en la esquina superior izquierda, me aparece. ¿Tiene que bajar? Pero, bajé, me aparece la contraseña... En el teléfono así aparece, profe. En el enlace del teléfono aparece una, una pantalla de login. Pero en el de la computadora sí se puede entrar. No entiendo. No, pero hasta abajo, pero se puede hacer abajo y a donde aparece el monito, ahí sí se puede. 
Ya puede ser monito. ¿Usted, Miss Carolina, pudo realizar el juego? ¿Pudo ingresar? Sí, lo estoy haciendo. Lo único que me lleva bien enterrado porque voy en la Ville Strip. Ah, <risa> Pero sí, sí pude entrar. Okay, Dice, gracias. oh no, ya dijo el monito que oh no, ya me equivoqué demasiado. Excelente. La revancha, teacher. La revancha. Me mal salió. Yo. Ahí sí. Ahí le mandé en el grupo, me, marqué, me saqué cero de 230. Mr. Alexander Fenner? Okay. Miss Brenda, did you finish? Finish. Thank you. Finish. Thank you. Okay, well, let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, so we have we have the conversations, we have the uh, simple past tense. Now we're going to, uh, for example, we have these six sentences. Tenemos estas seis oraciones. Vamos a pasarlas. Están en presente, presente simple. Vamos a transformarlas al pasado simple. Okay. 
eh, muy, mucho cuidado con las de verb to be, porque en eso vamos a utilizar was o where. En lo de los, por ejemplo, write o drive, los verbos van a ser, los tienen, tienen que buscar la forma pasada de esos verbos. Ok, we have six sentences. Six sentences. Cuando ya haya finalizado las seis, déjenmelo saber. Please. Finish. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Sonia. Miss Arely, thank you very much. Ok, cuando finalicen las seis horas ya no se pueden notificar, por favor. Mr. Juan Alberto, thank you very much. Miss Brenda, thank you. Mr. Alexander, good, okay. Let's start. Okay, number one. I am satisfied with my laptop. ¿Cómo sería la forma pasada? I wasn't satisfied with my... I, in, I was. I was. I was, was not satisfied. I was with satisfied. Pero ahí dice negativo, yeah. teacher. Wasn't. Sí, es cierto. Perdón, yeah. mi error. Wasn't. Era en negativo. Bueno, mm -hmm. eh, es I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Okay, number two, Martha. Martha didn't write. Didn't didn't write a, write letter, a letter to her boss. Okay, we are so happy. We weren't. 
We weren't. We weren't so happy. Good. Pedro and me. Didn't, didn't drive. drive uh, didn't, the company. Company. didn't drive to the company. Excellent. The principal didn't, didn't send didn't many send emails. Many emails. Didn't send any emails. Okay. Six. The program is too slow. The program was was too was, slow. Wasn't too slow. slow. Wasn't perfect. Okay. Ahora es su turno. Vamos a darle. Eh, vamos a escribir dos oraciones en pasado simple en negativo. Dos oraciones en pasado, pero en negativo. Okay, let's start. How about Miss Sonia? Do you have your two sentences? Yes, teacher. Can you share with us, uh, please? I didn't buy a skirt. Excellent. You didn't buy a skirt. Perfect. And they, the second one? They weren't funny in the concert. Okay, they weren't funny in the concert. Good. How about Miss Jenny? Do you have your two sentences? I didn't go to the movie yesterday. They Good. wouldn't go. They wouldn't go to the world last month. Okay, they said, yeah, they didn't go. They didn't ah. go. Okay. One more time, please. No es más. Okay. They didn't go to the world last month. Excellent. Okay, Mr. Alexander. I didn't eat fish yesterday. And the second one. She didn't arrive late on your job last Monday. Good. Okay. Uh, Miss Brenda. Um, they didn't play soccer yesterday. Good. And she didn't cook last night. Excellent. Miss Marisol. Okay. As the I didn't work home last night, I didn't email her yesterday. Didn't email her yesterday. Good. In the chat, no escriben. They weren't eat pizza. Mm -mm. Sería, they didn't eat pizza. They didn't eat pizza. Y en la segunda sería, he didn't sing rancheras in the party. They didn't eat pizza. In the last dinner, and he didn't sing rancheras in the party. Okay, how about Miss Carolina? Do you have your two sentences? Uh, he didn't go to school yesterday. They didn't go to to go to work yesterday. Excellent. They didn't to work yesterday. Excellent, Miss Jenny. Ah, she already passed. I'm sorry, Miss Jim. Uh, how about Miss Arely? Carla didn't bring the cake to the party. Good. And 
this is I don't I don't know if if that okay. We weren't go to the school last week, or yes, yeah, they didn't go. Or we didn't go. We we didn't, they didn't right? Go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about Mr. Menevemo? She done. She done some. I call again. Okay, Mr. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. I didn't I didn't do my homework. Okay. In the second one. And she didn't play soccer. Okay, she didn't play soccer. Good. Mr. Francisco Rendero. I didn't drive to my work yesterday. Mm -hmm. Good. And he didn't go to the school. Excellent. Mr. Ronald. Uh, I didn't satisfy why no, I didn't satisfy with my car. Okay. You, ah, in this case, sería, I wasn't satisfied with my car. I wasn't satisfied with my car. Sí, es que ahí tengo un poquito de confusión. Ay, en el Juan Aguán creo que le voy a decir estas cosas, que tengo bastantes lagunas. Ok, Mr. Nicolás. I, during you play soccer yesterday. You didn't play soccer yesterday? Yeah, I weren't in the, the computer today. Okay, good. Vamos a tomar la asistencia de las, las bueno, la segunda asistencia. Este, vamos con Mr. Alexander Aaron Doño. Present. Miss Arely del Carmen. Present. Miss Brenda. Present. Miss Carolina. Present, teacher. Miss Alexander. Present, teacher. Erika Beatriz Urbina Guardado. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Present. Heidi Marisol Menjibar Menjibar. Present. Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. José Nicolás García Maravilla. Present. Juan Alberto Rivas. Present teacher. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Present teacher. Juan Ricardo Menedemo Delgado Vázquez. Present teacher. Laura Noemí Rivas Rivas. Maritza Reyes López. Ronald Alexis Gómez Mendoza. Present teacher. Sonia Miriam Cortés Vargas. Present. And Mr. Wilmer. He didn't come today. All right. Vamos. Eh, continuar. Ok. Ahora vamos. Now it's your turn. Ok, here we have. Eh, you, you are a company agent and are calling all customers to check that everything was explained or provided to them. And the student B, you are a customer, so you tell agent how your level of satisfaction is in everything they didn't do. Vamos a crear una conversación entre un agent, un agente eh, de servicio al cliente, y el, y el otro será el, el cliente, el customer. Entonces, el agent va a llamar a clientes antiguos pidiéndole toda la información para... Eh, eh, para saber si todo el servicio que ellos han dado está, está bien, si el, el cliente se cree 
se siente satisfecho. Y eh, el estudiante B va a ser el cliente. El cliente eh, ese estudiante va a tomar el rol del cliente y va a dar eh, todas las cosas que, el, que no recibió. Todo el servicio que no recibió. Ok, tenemos al lado derecho, eh, tenemos un pequeño cuadro, tenemos una pequeña conversación que nos puede ayudar a crear eh, la conversación. Por ejemplo, dice, good morning, I am, ahí puede colocar el nombre, from, ahí puede colocar la compañía. I'm speaking to, para saber, para identificar. Y dice, good morning, yes, she's speaking. The reason of this Ah, perdón. Am I speaking to? Y ahí tienen que escribir el nombre a quien usted le está llamando. Good morning. Yeah, she is speaking. The reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with the last product you bought last. La razón por la, la cual estamos llamando es para saber el nivel de satisfacción que usted tiene con el producto que compró con nosotros. Okay, the product is fine, but el producto está bien, pero ahí empieza a dar eh, las recomendaciones o por qué está insatisfecho con ese producto. Vamos a crear la conversación. Eh, después vamos a pasar a decirla en la, en la llamada principal.
eso lo voy a decir. Ah, ok. Falta, okay. falta variedad. Ok, the product is, is fine, but the variety that I like has not been found and cannot find the coconut one. Eso lo voy a decir. Va, ok. The variety that I like has not been found. I can, 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 can find, find the coconut. Wow. Vaya, ha puesto la eso, sí. Ok. Ok. But, ¿hoy qué puso? But. But, the bar, se, lo, se lo mando. Va, porfa. Ahorita, espérenme. Después de va. Eh, copiar, vamos a buscarlo aquí. El bin. Ahí está. Ahí se lo mandé ahorita. Ok, gracias. Ahorita lo veo. Ok. Practicamos otra vez la conversación. Va, listo. Bye. Okay. Usted empieza. Okay, pero que yo la, yo le sé que fue. Uh, good morning. I am Elvin from Unilever Company. I am speaking to Carolina. Good morning. Yes, she's speaking. The reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you'll have with the last pro you bought with without you. With you. Okay, the product is no, fine. No, adelante, adelante, adelante. But the variety that I like has not been found and can cannot I cannot. Pin the coconut uh -huh. ah, pin the coconut one. The variety. That I like. Vamos otra vez. Ok. Bon. Uh, good morning. I am Elvin from Unilever Company. I am speaking to Carolina. Good morning. Yes, she's speaking. How do you say resortes? Teacher, resortes. Let me look for it, Miss. Okay. Spring. 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 Okay. Okay, the bed is fine, but but I am I am. Satisfied. Mm -hmm. Satisfied. The spring. 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 The spring of the bed. Y, um, ¿Qué sería? ¿Qué se, de la cama de. The of the of bed. Pero, pero se ve. Um, Porque los resortes se, se soltaron o si sí, va, se soltaron. Y, o puede ser como, o como son molestos, no sé. Pero no sé cómo sería. Es que, que los resortes. Se, se vencieron Ajá. o se vencieron Ajá. los resortes de la cama se vencieron uh -huh. entonces hay que cambiarle y dice vale. ok, the bed is fine but I'm certified the springs the bed Ajá. on the bed spirit And 
en un corto tiempo, tal vez. Uh -huh. In very a short time. In very short time. In a very uh -huh, okay. short time. Okay. Vale, okay. sería como, como darle yo una respuesta, vean. Uh -huh. eh, voy a empezar como una disculpa, como la, lo que decía ahí. Y viene la respuesta. The product is fine that arrived later and some parts were missing. And some Como parts. Uh -huh. Llegó tarde. Mm -hmm. And some parts were missing. Y saltaron partes. Mm -hmm. vale, ¿Qué más le podríamos agregar? Some parts were missing. Sí. Aquí le, tal vez le podría preguntar cómo puede hacer para, eh, para que le envíen esas partes. Ah, pongámosle entonces, ya sería nuestro. Podemos Please poner. Tell me how can... ¿Cómo? Le podría poner. Please tell me how can I get. ¿Cómo Please puedo? Please tell me how can I get? How can I get? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo puedo? ¿Cómo me pueden? ¿Cómo puedo tener las, las partes? ¿O cómo me pueden enviar las, las partes que hacen falta? Uh, I get send my parts missing. Uh -huh. The missing parts. I get the missing parts. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El B sería la respuesta. ¿va? Es la pregunta. Please tell me how can I get the missing parts because eh, I can work porque no puedo trabajar. Como que usted le compró algún material, digamos que lo uh -huh. compró pero como un material de, de, uh -huh. de construcción. Uh -huh. Please tell me part. how can I get the missing parts. Because I can work. Because? Because I can mm -hmm. work in my project. Puede ser. I can work. Work. Uh -huh. Work sin el de, sin el de venda. I can't. Ajá, de, no puedo. Because no puedo I trabajar. can work in my project. Uh -huh. Vale, ahí termina el B, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Porque sería como... Uh -huh. Ahí sería. Si no, si no... Si no podemos cambiar. Uh, using the product. No sé si el producto todavía no, no, no lo ha abierto, puede, puede cambiar. Bueno, entonces sería: You have not used the project. Yo, yo le voy a decir de último. Ok, thank oh. you. Ah, sí, eso puede ser. Que tenemos que practicarlo. Okay. Eh, usted, ¿verdad? Sí, para mí al final que iba a sonar. Thank you. ¿Qué iba a decir al final? Okay, thank you. <laughs>
Ok, muchas gracias. Uh -huh. ¿Qué? Uh, hablo, eh, empiezo yo, ¿verdad? No. Espérame, espérame. Yo quiero buscar una cosa. Quiero buscar una cosa. No, usted empieza. Sí, sí, yo voy a empezar, pero espérame. Solo esperame el verbo esperar. Solo quiero, solo quiero buscar una cosa. Okay. Voy sí. Voy a cambiar aquí una palabra. Para... Ah, Hoy sí. Uh, good morning. I'm Carl from Sima Inc. I am speaking to Nicolas. Good morning. Yes, she is speaking. He is. He is. No, she is because so scared. He is speaking. <laughs> okay. The reason of the call is the now the level of satisfaction the, that you have with the last product you bought with us. <laughs> Y ahí les digo. Eh, ¿Qué pasó? Eh, about the inspiration that in the about to the big me, men and they don't. Ah, no, pero es que, pero es que si va a decir about the inspiration, entonces sería de decir lo que dice ya antes, que dice, ok, the product is fine, o sea, el producto está bien. Ah, lo, que decía, okay. lo que quería decir, lo que decía ahí en la... Ok, ok. Ok, the problem is the in the fine about Bob. Ajá. Después le... But... To but with us. Okay, ready. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay, good morning. I'm Arely Cortez from Siman. Uh, good Emma. morning. Uh, perdón. Give me uh -huh. one second. Give me one second. Okay, once again. Good morning. I'm Arely Cortez from Siman. Am I speaking from, I'm sorry, am I speaking to Francisco Renderos? Good morning. Yes, he is speaking. The reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction satisfaction that you have with the last product you bought with us. Uh, the product is fine, but you didn't send me the warranty. Uh, You're welcome. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you for hearing me. Okay. Thank uh -huh. you. 
Thank you for help me. Vaya, vamos, leamos. Empieza. Va a ver si no sale bien. Ajá. Good morning, I'm Brenda from Sally Company. I'm speaking to Jenny Scora. Good morning, yes, she's speaking. The reason of the call is uh, is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with last bet you bought with us. Okay, the bet is fine, but I certify the sprint of the bed spirit in a very short time. My apologies for that. Do you have the invoice? Yes, I have. Could you give me the application number to verify if the warranty is valid? Okay, it is 00555555. Okay, give me a moment, please. Okay. Thanks for waiting. I tell you that we are in the last month of warranty. Okay, how could you help me? Don't worry, tomorrow we will change the bed. We are right around the same. Celular que, que, que oficina, la anterior. Uh -huh. Entonces le puede poner, but I need este, the better the, the, the data, the memory data de este. Cualquier ¿Es producto, como ahorita claro. estamos hablando de, de telefónica, entonces tiene que ella ver qué marca de teléfono explica mm -hmm. abajo. Va. Y en lo último. But the phone is very, very mm -hmm. bajo. O algo así, o sea, el sonido. Mm -hmm. no, usted tiene que poner de pom, de pomba. Ah, sí, Juan Rivas. Ajá, de product. Okay, the the, dice, donde dice, okay, the, the product is fine, but, pero hay un pero. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y ese pero, no sé, ¿qué, qué no le parece a usted de la, tele, de, de la telefonía de, de, de Tigo? Ay, se va mucho la señal. Okay, entonces, <risa> the last, the singing of, sería, ¿verdad, Tisha? Ya está el uh -huh. Tisha the signal isn't stable. The signal? The signal, the signal is the sign. not, not stable. The signal is not stable. Not stable. Not stable. Mm -hmm. Stable. 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 Hola, hola. Hola. Ok, está bien. Ok, bueno. Demo, Erika, entonces comencemos. Good morning, I am Juan Rivas. I from Tigo Network Company. I am speaking to Erika Urbina. Good morning, yes, she is speaking. She's um, the she is Ok, the reason this call is to know the level of the satisfaction that you had with the last product you bought with us. Okay, the product is fine, but the last signal not stable. Okay, um, thank you. Okay, hasta ahí terminaríamos. Va. Digo yo el helado y el Okay, sí, está bien. Good morning. I am Erika Urbina from the company, from the Tigo Network Company, a network. Mm -hmm. Tigo Network Company. Tigo Network Company. I am speaking to Juan no? Rivas. Juan, Juan Rivas. Rivas. Good morning. He is speaking. The reason of this part 
is called is to know the level of satisfaction mm -hmm. that you have with the last product you bought. Uh, Teacher, finish. finish. Ya ha practicado. El Elvin ya está con los ojos cerrados, dice la conversación. <laughs> Good. Es que no hace falta algunos, pero ya un minuto quizás. Okay. Ah, vaya. Vaya, está bien. Nosotros pensábamos que nos había olvidado. Dije, Se le olvidó sacarnos. It was a pleasure to see Hello. Finish. Ya estamos ahí con todos los motores. Excelente. Hello. Yes, I finished. Finish. Yes, Excellent. yes, we finished. Yes. Hello. Finish. Hello. Yes. Finish. Good. Yes. Hello. Did you finish? Yes. Almost, teacher. Yes. Mm All right, okay, let's start with the conversations you create. All right, let's begin with Miss Arely and Mr. Francisco Renderos, please. Okay. Okay, good morning. I'm Arely Cortez from CIMAN. Am I speaking to Francisco Renderos? Good morning, yes, he is speaking. The reason of this call is to know the level of satisfa satisfaction, satisfaction that you have with the last product you bought with us. Um, the product is fine, but you didn't send me the warranty. And when I received the remote control, wasn't in the box. Okay, I understand. My apologies for the inconvenience. We are going to send you the warranty and the control tomorrow morning. Okay, I will be I be waiting for it. Okay, that's all. Excellent, good job. Okay, good pronunciation, good correct use of the vocabulary. Starting in two. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, the group composed by Miss Marisol Menjivar. Marisa, ¿está lista? Don Juan. Ricardo Alvarenga. Sí, claro. Okay. Good morning. This is Marisol from Omnisport. The reason why I'm calling is to know about the satisfaction of all pro. Good morning, Marisol. This is Ricardo. <clears throat> well, the smart TV is so nice. It worked very well. Thank you. And what about the customer service? Who was, who was it? It was very nice. They are capable to understand what I wanted. I am happy to hear that we are working to improve. To improve. Improve. Uh, improve. Improve. To improve and be better. Better each day. Thank you for your help, Ricardo. You're welcome, Miss Marisol. Continue working like that. You are awesome. Finish. Excellent. Okay, good job. And now we're going to listen the next group composed by Mr. Ronald and Miss Sonny. Okay. Uh, 
Good morning, I'm Ronald from Freon Company, El Salvador. I'm speaking to Miss Sonia Cortes. Yes. Uh, good morning. Yes, he's speaking. She's speaking. Uh, the reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with the last product you bought with you. The product is fine, but arrived later and some parts were missing. Please tell me how can I get the missing parts? because I can work in my project. Yes, I can understand your problem and promise all uh, you in the shortest time possible. Thank you. I await your prompt reply. The finish teacher. Excellent, good job. Okay, very good, congratulations. Now let's listen to Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas and his group. Oh, ok, teacher. Eh, ¿Con quién? <laughs> eh, no sé si queda don Juan o doña Erika. Démosle okay. chance a doña Erika o, o, o lo hago yo con usted ahí, ve. Démosle chance a doña Erika. Doña Erika, pues. Ok. Good morning, Eric. Good morning. I'm Juan Rivas from the Tigo Network Company. I am speaking to the Erika Urbina. Good morning. Yes, she's speaking. Um, the reason of this call is is to know the level of the satisfaction that you had with the last product you bought with us. Okay, the product is fine, but the last, the female, not stable. Okay. Finish, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, good. Okay, satisfaction, good. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Miss um, Brenda and Miss Jenny. Okay. Good morning. I'm Brenda from Sally Company. Am um, I speaking to Jenny Escobar? Good morning. Yes, she is speaking. The reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with the last bet you bought with us. Okay, the bed is fine, but I am satisfied the spring of the bed is fired in a very short time. My apologies for that. Do you have the invoice? Yes, I have. Could you give me the application number to verify if the warranty is valid? Okay, it is 00555555. Give me a moment, please. Okay. Thanks for waiting. I tell you that we are in the last month of warranty. Okay. How could you help me? Don't worry. Tomorrow we will change the bed. We arrive around 10 a.m. Okay. Thank you for helping. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Excellent. Finish. Yeah, right. Good. Excellent. And now, Mr. Alexander Aron, Jose Nicolás. Okay. Good morning. I am Alexander, and I call you from Tapasini. I am speaking to Nicolás. Good morning. Yes, he is speaking. The reason of the call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with the last product you bought with us. Okay, the problem is find about, about the experience that's in about to be me and say, don't see 
write to me what solution solution could you give me give me i understand if you have not used the product, even we can change it from you. Okay, thank you. It was a pleasure to serve you. Thanks. It's a pleasure to help you. Okay, good. And finally, but not the least, Ms. Carolina, Mr. Edgar, and, well, and Mr. Elvin. Okay. Good morning. I am Elvin from I. Unilever Company, are you speaking to Carolina? Good morning, yes, she's speaking. The reason of the call is to know the level of satisfaction that you had with the last product you bought with us. Okay, the product is fine, but the variety that I like has no fun. I can't find the coconut one. Okay, we will, we will, we will take your opinion into account. Thank you. Bye. Finish. Finish. Excellent. Okay, good job. Okay, and just to end it up, we're going to practice a little bit about the simple past tense. Okay, I left the link in the chat and we have a link in the chat para que podamos ingresar al siguiente eh, práctica. Ingresan al link que acabo de colocar en el chat y vamos a ingresar el pin que está en la parte superior que es 8576144. And after that, your nickname. Thank you, Ms. Sonia. No ha caído el link, teacher. El link está en el chat de Zoom. Ahorita. We have eight players. Yeah, my God, okay. teacher. Teacher. ¿Qué le parece, mister? ¿Qué? ¿A dónde ingresó usted? A lo que usted mandó de, de, de ¿A dónde? código. De... Ajá. ¿En Zoom? No me lo agarra, fe. Tiene que ingresar a Zoom, cliquear en el, en el link y después colocar el pin que aparece en mi pantalla. 8576144. Okay, well, let's start. Teacher, me puede mandar el link otra vez, por favor.
What is the price of fuel? Fail. Excellent. What is the pass of eat? Good job. What is the pass of drive? Mr. Alexander is on the top now. It's a pass of catch. Pass of catch. Ah, excellent. What is the pass of bill? Bill. Built. Excellent. What is the pass of cut? Cut, excellent, the same. What is the plural of children? Exactly, it is children. Very good. It's in la forma plural. The child, it is children. Plural of mouse. Plural of mouse. Mice. Okay, the plural form of mouse, it is mice, mice. But it's a plural of foot. Fit. Feet, excellent. What is this brand? What is what is your teacher's name? Okay, only nine. And finally, what is the biggest country in Europe?
Okay, good job. Third position, Miss Brenda. Second, Miss Arely, and the first place is for Mr. Richard. Okay, good job. Okay, vamos a ir. Gracias por participar. Vamos a ir a la toma de asistencia. Ese día le corresponde a Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas. E iniciamos. Mr. Alexander Aron. Present teacher. Arely del Carmen. Present. Present. Brenda Alicia. Present. Carolina Eleonor. Cuesta. Present teacher. Elvin Alexander. No, no te quedo. El video, perdón, pero la mierda, como usamos otra una aplicación, las cerratas en línea, y se ponen algo lento. Ok. Rica eh, Beatriz. Francisco Antonio. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Heidi Marisol Heidi Marisol Jenny Marisol Escobar Preston José Nicolás Present teacher Juan Alberto Rivas Present teacher Juan Alberto Juan Present Ricardo teacher. Alvarenga Alas Present teacher Juan Ricardo Menedemo Delgado Vázquez Presente, teacher. Laura Noemí. Maritza Reyes. Ronald Alexis. Teacher. Presente, teacher. Sonia Miriam. Present. Okay, good. All right. See you next class. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye. Good, good, good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.